name is Sumesra. Today I am here to do a practical regarding a monocotyledonous and dicotyledonous seed. So, at first I would like to start through classification of plants. There are two kingdoms regarding classification of plants in this small classification. Here, in the modern classification, plants are broadly classified mainly into two kingdoms. They are kingdom fungi and kingdom plantae. Kingdom fungi means non green and non flowering plants that contains non green and non flowering plants. This kingdom kingdom plants do not contain chlorophyll in them, so they are called non green and non flowering plants. It contains non green and non flowering plants. Some examples of kingdom fungi are fungi, mushrooms, etc. Now let's move towards kingdom plantae. It contains green and green plants which are able to produce flowers and which are flowering plants. These kinds of plants are green in color. They have chlorophyll in them. They can produce flowers and fruits from, in, from them. Some examples of these plants are trees that produces fruits, plants that produces flowers like rose, etc. So now let's move towards roots. Root is a very important part of a plant through which a plant grows. There are two types of roots, they are fibrous root and tap root. Fibrous root. Those roots that do not contain primary root and secondary root are called fibrous root. There all the roots are generated from this stem. Let me show you an example. Here this is an onion. Else all the roots are straight. They are not originated from any other root. Here you can see that these all roots are straight, 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 straight. So they are they do not have any primary root primary root through which they are originated they are originated directly from the from the onion so these roots that that do not have any primary roots and secondary roots are called fibrous root now let's move towards stem root those roots that have primary roots and secondary roots are called stem roots here you can see in the figure this is the primary root and from here these roots are originated which are called secondary roots this is the main root through which these roots are originated and through secondary root another root is originated this is called tertiary root now the at the end where the root ends it is known as root cap so these roots have primary and secondary roots. Those roots that have primary root and secondary roots are called type root. Now let's move towards leaves. There are two types of leaves that there are two types of plants that contains different types of leaves having different venations. They are they are plants having reticulate venation leaves plant and plant having parallel venation leaves. Now I like to show you an example and let's define at first reticulate venation. Those plants whose veins are orange in a lead like form in the leaf bed is called a reticulate venation. This type of venation is found in a dicotyledonous plants like mustard, people, china, rose, etc. Here in this example you can see that here is a main root. Here is the main bend, bend and through here a net like a net like net or a net like sorry from here other venice are found in a net like structure they are called leaf blade this Venations have this venation do not contain parallel. They this venations venus are 
are tossed with each other. For example, air in this leaf. Air is a primary variation. Vanish and from here, this, like this, many are tossed to each other. So, this type of leaves and the plants having this type of leaves are have reticulate variation. For example, here is a here is an example of reticulate variation. In this plant, you can see that here is the main venice and through here many other venies are tossed. This type of plants having this type of venies are called reticulate venation. Now let's move towards parallel venation. Those plants whose leaf venies are arranged in a parallel way is known as parallel venation. This type of venations are found in monocotyledonous plants like banana, mint, rice, etc. Let me show you them. We know that parallel means that line that does not touch each other. Here, in this venation, also same thing happens. In this venation, the leaf does not leaf vanish does not touch each other. They are suppose this is the leaf. Here, its venation are like this. They are not touched to each other. So these types of leaves having these types of venations are called parallel venations. Let me show let me show you an example. This is a leaf of rice. Here its venations are straight. They are not touched with each other compared to this. It have its venison touched with each other but in this leaf its venison are not touched so in this way we can classify we in this way we can separate differentiate between reticulate venison and parallel venison now let's move towards seeds there are two types of seeds they are monocotyledonous and dicotyledonous seeds let me tell you the definition of monocotyledon seed. Those seeds having only one cotyledon in their seeds are called monocotyledon seeds and the seeds having two cotyledons in their seeds are called dicotyledon seeds. For example, the examples of monocotyledon seeds are maize, rice, etc. Their seeds cannot be partially divided into two parts such as dicotyledonous seeds. For example, here is, a, here is an example. This is a seed of this is a seed of maize. Here it have only one cotyledon. But in the same way this is an example of pea. It can be partially divided into two parts. It can be divided by in this way into two parts, equal parts. So, the differences between monocotyledonous seeds and dicotyledonous seeds are monocotyledonous seeds have monocotyledonous seeds have only one cotyledon in their seeds, and dicotyledonous seeds have two cotyledons in their seeds. For example. Maize, rice, etc., and dicotyledonous examples are pea, gram, etc. So, thank you for watching my video.